Welcome back to another episode of Hot Comics, a series where each week I pick five books that I think you should be investing in now. We keep watching as comic prices are skyrocketing, and we think to ourselves, man, I should have grabbed that book earlier. Well, here's me screaming at you one more time every week. Pick these books up now because it's just, some of these are no-brainers, some of these are good speculation books. There's a lot of things going on, and it's good to pick books up while they are cheap. Before we get into today's video, quick reminder, I am doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers for some awesome comics, including a sweet Ultimate Spider-Man 100 signed by John Romita. Basically, all you gotta do is be subscribed and leave a comment. If you want the uh, details and all the full video, there is a link in the description. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Thor number eight. Forgive me, I can't remember what volume this is, but you can get this book about $20. It's a beautiful cover. I absolutely love this cover. And on top of that is also the death of Jane Foster as Thor. So, you know, pick up, I've talked about Thor number one for, you know, first Jane Foster Thor, first cover, you know. And, you know, that's a good book, too. There's also good keys around. We know Jane Foster is coming as Thor. These books are going to heat up. Now, I don't know if she's going to die. It's a possibility. Might not be in this movie, maybe in another movie or something like that. But it's a good book to have. It's a good book to pick up. Um, and like I said, it's just an astonishing cover. I absolutely love this book. I've been trying to get this with myself. Uh, unfortunately, with all that black negative space around there you know you have to watch for condition issues because they will be uh, very abundant and so there's one we have up at the shop it's not terrible but it's got a couple of spine ticks and it's like mm, do I want to get it maybe, maybe you know try to find a better copy maybe who knows but it is a solid book and I definitely recommend picking that one up and the next book I wanted to talk about was Sensational She-Hulk number one you can get this book for about $30. Another book that I'm still looking for. I've seen it a couple of times and again it's kind of been the condition. It's like, uh, you know, it's it's okay. I could be it could be better, but this is a, you know, it's her second solo series and another thing. We know She-Hulk is coming. These are confirmed bangers. <laughs> like we know these books are going to go up in value. We've been watching as these books are going to. It wasn't that long ago this you could get this book for like $10-15. So you know that the price is climbing already. So go ahead and hop on. You might have missed, you know, the, the cheapest you could get it, but it still has plenty of room to grow. We haven't even, you know, I don't think there's been any, like, talk about casting for She-Hulk or anything. There's, this is so far out. We know that this book has lots of potential. And this is, you know, it's not the first She-Hulk, and that's going to be quite a bit pricier, but this is still a good She-Hulk number one. A great cover, and it's it's got plenty of room to get bigger and bigger. So I would definitely recommend getting this one. It's a solid, solid book. I'm still trying to find it myself. Um, man, actually, as I'm looking at my list here, I well, okay, it's it's just the first three I don't have. But now we're going to be talking about Young Avengers number ten, and this book you can get for about fifty dollars. And this is going to be first of all. Oh, beautiful cover. I'm I love a good Kate Bishop cover and this is this is a solid one. Uh but it's also the first um is it the it's the first time Tommy becomes speed or is it the first Tommy? I forget now, but it's a um it's a solid Young Avengers book. I don't think it's the I think it is the first Tommy actually now. And it's um uh, if it's not I'll, I'll put something on the screen saying what it really is. I can't remember right now. But uh, it is, you know, like I said, it's solid. We know that both uh, Speed and Wiccan will be coming back at some point. Maybe in the Doctor Strange movie. Maybe later. It's hard to say. And anything to do with them, anything to do with Young Avengers is heating up pretty well right now. We know that that is what they are building towards. And I like that they're doing it slowly. They're just putting little pieces here and there. They're not shoving it down your throat. It's just, we are building things up. It is going to flow together naturally, hopefully. That's what it seems like. They're good at doing that. 
They've you know, built a multi-billion dollar franchise off being able to do that. So I think, you know, it's it's, it's going well. I like I like the slow rolling of it. I don't like that, you know, right after, it would have you know been a little weird if right after Endgame they're like, okay, and here's your new Young Avengers. <laughs> so I like, I like the slow build and tease. But, oh man, I just, the main thing for me is this cover. I have, I know key wise, you know, it has more significance, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, and then I want to talk about X Men 244. And this is, I gotta, I gotta talk about X Men. I feel like almost every video, I think maybe, I don't know, no more than three of these have been without an X Men key. I don't even think it's been that many. But I think maybe the first couple didn't have X-Men, and then I skipped a week after I did a full video of, of X-Men <laughs> books. But X-Men 244, you can pick this book up for about $60, and this is the first appearance of Jubilee. Solid, solid key to get. Again, I think investing in X-Men that didn't really get a lot of screen time or no screen time at all in the Fox franchise are, is a solid idea, as long as they're like good mainstay X-Men. And Jubilee has been a big fan favorite for a long time. So I think this has a strong shot of being a character that they really want to invest more time in and show off to people. Because wh what does she appear in? Apocalypse, I think. And then, but she didn't do anything. She was like sat in the back of a car. And that was about it. And she looked great. I thought her costume looked fantastic as far as, you know, coming from the comics to the, the show, which is pretty easy. It's just a yellow uh, jacket and, you know, just fairly regular clothes. But, you know, she looked great, but she didn't do anything. I don't even know what she sounded like. She may have spoke. Maybe she didn't speak. I can't remember. But she had very, very minimal interaction in that movie. I would like to think we will be getting more of her when it rolls around into the MCU. You know, no guarantees, but a solid speculation book. And one that is climbing and anything. All mutant keys are going up. So if you want any X-Men, pick them up. As soon as you think about it and you have the money for it. I know some X-Men keys are ridiculous. Don't get me wrong. But when you get a good, solid key like this that's affordable, pick this thing up. It is going to go up in value. Hands down. And the last book I want to talk about is a book near and dear to my heart. I'm always talking about uh, Ironheart here. So we're going to talk about Invincible Iron Man number seven. This is the first cameo appearance of Riri. You can get the first print for about $120, which not a bad price. Not a bad price at all. Awesome cover, by the way. Super, super cool cover. And I also wanted to mention the third print. Now, there is a second print. But, and I think that one's like maybe $50 or so. But the third print is kind of where it's at. It's uh, for $75, you can get that one. And what's cool about that one, it kind of counts as a first um, cover for Riri, but it's also tied with, I think, three other books or something. So you have this little thing in the bottom corner where it's, it's just a little circle cut out of her face. And so it's a first partial cover or something like that. But they did that, I know, on a reprint of Iron Man 9, second print, and something else I can't remember. So it all came out on the same day. So it, it they all kind of are the first cover appearance. Um, there's not a one definitive, but it definitely is a solid. It becomes a first cameo appearance and a first partial uh, cover appearance all in one double whammy of a book so that's why the third print is more valuable than the second print but obviously king is still first print so if you can find either one of these we know again this is just it's a no-brainer we know iron heart is coming and i'm excited for it i'm super excited for it i've been picking up a lot of iron heart keys i got some that's going to be in this weekend's haul video I'm really excited for it. Trying to get my hands on another one. We'll see if that happens or not. Not sure. But we know that these books are going to go up. They've been consistently going up already. So just go ahead and bite the bullet and get one. <laughs> like That's all there is to it. This book is going to go up. Any Anything that's confirmed is just, it's just a no-brainer. And sometimes you just have to, you know, stop and think about it and be like, you know what? It's time. It's time to get this book. 
I, you know, I love getting a deal. Don't get me wrong. I love getting a deal. But sometimes you just have to say, you know what? The deal is that I'm paying full price for it right now and it's going to go up in the future. Sometimes that's the best you can deal you can do because the uh, sometimes the reverse of that is you don't buy it at all and you're like, man, I could have got it for $100 and now it's $500 or whatever it ends up being, you know? <laughs> like You miss out sometimes. Sometimes chasing the, the best deal will put you in a bad spot. Don't get me wrong. Always chase a deal. I love a deal. I, I've been collecting for many, many years and the most of my success has been from getting awesome lots of big bundles and stuff like that but always chase a deal but sometimes you learn to settle and you know with reasonable cause you know don't settle on something that is going to maybe not you know doesn't have a strong chance of getting much bigger than it is but first cameo re re of course it's gonna get bigger we know it's not even a gamble we know Ironheart's coming and again it's off far in the future and it has so much room to grow and it's been growing. It has time. And then once we get announcements and trailers and stuff like that and the show comes out, huge book. It's going to be an absolutely huge book. But that is going to be my five picks for this week. Kind of six if you count, you know, this, the third printing. But sometimes I throw a little bonus in there for you. Not, yeah, yeah. But let me know if you have these books, if you want these books. In the comments, let's talk about it. You have suggestions for books that I should be picking up? Let me know, because I don't know everything. There's a thousand books going up all at once. Probably no more than that. I don't even know. I wouldn't even know how to begin to think about how many books are climbing right now. How many good, solid investments that there are. Because there's an astronomical amount right now. You just have to make your decision and make it be a good one. That's, at the end of the day... As long as you're making some kind of good uh, decisions and sound investments, then, you know, you don't have to get everything, but it's nice the more you get. But when you make good, solid investments and you see, you know, a year from now, it's like, oh, man, this is double, triple, quadruple what I paid for it. You feel pretty good. But that's going to be it for today. I will see you all next time. Ha <laughs> ha